Hi everyone, I'm Autumn Beckman and welcome to Vlogmas 2023, day 23. Only one more day left of Vlogmas. Can you believe it? It's almost over already. When you're in the middle of it, or at least when you're the creator in the middle of it, it feels like it's just taking forever and it's never gonna end. But then when you get to the end of it, it feels like, ah, I just started, what happened? Where did it go? Well, today is an exciting video because it's Secret Santa collaboration day. We've been doing this for a few years now. It's me and a group of my YouTube colleagues and friends. As the years have gone by and we've made more and more YouTube friends, it makes sense to do a Secret Santa where we're gifting for one person instead of for an infinite, never-ending number of people. Now, I have been the organizer of this every year, so I already know who my Santa is, but you don't, so I won't reveal that yet. And we have a big group this year, so I will have everybody's videos linked below. And try to watch all of them if you can, because it'll be fun to see what everybody else got. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm not going to even try to list everybody who's participating this year off the top of my head, because there are so many. There are, there are like 10 or 11 of us, something like that. So. Just check the description box for the full list. Now, let's get started. It's wrapped like this. That looks like a reusable bag. Ooh, nice. Everything is wrapped up in here very, what's the word, not concise, efficient maybe? That's nice. We use reusable grocery bags up here because they charge you when you don't have them. They charge you for paper bags and most places don't have any kind of plastic bag up here, which we didn't know. So it's always good for us to have the reusable bags. There are several things in here. Tissue paper. And my secret Santa said that their mom wrapped this, so thank you mom. You did a great job. More tissue paper. There's some chocolates. Lindor's. I never buy these for myself and I love them. I don't know why I don't buy them for myself, but I tend to get them for Christmas, or at least I did when I was teaching, and I love them. I love the texture of them. The flavor too, of course, but silky smooth texture of the inside. So good. It says holiday assortment. What does that mean? Milk chocolate, snickerdoodle white chocolate. I don't think I've ever had that one. Interesting. And milk with white milk chocolate. Those sound delicious. Thank you, Secret Santa. All right, I'm going to open this one next because the wrapping paper got a little ripped so I can see what it is. Well, I can partially see what it is. So it looks like there are two books in here. There's a smaller one. Oregon Bucket List Adventure Guide. Oh, we're gonna love that. Nice. I saw some hot, ooh, two hot springs at least. Three hot springs. Hot springs, I wanna do that. Peter Iredale. We've been there and we were just talking about going back. I'm not gonna read everything to you, but we will use this, thank you. Next book. That was really thoughtful. I appreciate that. I wasn't expecting, it didn't even occur to me that anyone would get me anything related to Oregon. I suppose it should have, but... And Portland, then and now. Interesting. That's something that I'm so interested, we both are. Paul's a history buff. I'm interested in the history of places where I am, or places that I visit. And I knew a lot about Texas history and Houston history, but being up in this part of the country, I could... I Look, I'm not going to get into it because I could talk for a whole video on this, but there's so little I know about where we are now. So this will really help, and I appreciate that. Let me just quickly flip through it. So it has pictures of like how it looked a long time ago and how it looks now in some of the same places next to each other. Very cool. That'll be a lot of fun to go through. I'm really excited about both of those. Red tissue paper. Very Christmassy. Looks like a little bouquet. Love it. I noticed that this little one has a card on it. I was gonna read that to you to tell you who my secret Santa is and to see if it had a note because usually, okay, in my family, when we do gifts, we there's usually like gifts and then there's like the big gift. So we'll put a note on the big gift saying, open this last. So I was looking to see if maybe that was the one because I'm trying to figure out what to open next. That's not what it says. It says from Ed, that's Ed Braun, my secret Santa. Thank you, Ed. Of course, I will list his channel below. I'll put it right at the top. It says, from Ed, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to Paul. Okay, two things left. Doing the green bag. It's a pretty little bag. It's like velvet with a tree embroidered on it. It's nice. No way. We're, we're saving that. We'll open that one last. If that's what I thought it was, that was very special. We're opening this one. All right. No, what? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna open the the other one then because these are both like big gifts. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you guys, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, you're seeing it for the first time with me. Look. 
it's a Marc Jacobs the tote bag, but it's a tiny one. I love it. Now y'all know the big ones, I have a problem with the giant letters. These letters aren't giant. They're tiny because the bag is tiny. This is so flipping cute. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna have to do a whole video devoted to this thing. Oh my God, it has that little thing and everything. Oh my gosh. I remember when Winnie unboxed one of these and I was like, oh my God, it has, that thing comes out and everything. Ugh, it has all the things. It's leather inside. It's got this little chain straps. Look. It has silver hardware too. You can do like that and hang it from a bag. Oh my God, that is so cute. That's adorable. I've not mentioned to anybody that when Winnie got hers, that I thought it was adorable and I started looking at them and I've been wanting one. Ed did not know that. Winnie did not know that. Nobody knew that. I kept it to myself. I can do that sometimes. This is too flipping cute. Thank you so much, Ed. The leather on this is great too. I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna tell you what bag it is, but I recently unboxed, I didn't do a video on it yet. You know, I've mentioned that I wanna do some more affordable bags for next year. So I've started filming those. I ordered this, this beautifully designed full leather bag from this company that's pretty well known. It's not a like luxury designer name, but I took it out of the box and I immediately knew that I was sending it back because the leather felt awful. This feels amazing. Those of you who already have Marc Jacob tote bags, you know this. That is just the cutest thing. Oh my God. Look what was in the other package that I just opened right before that. I'll bring it closer. You see what that says, right? Louis Vuitton, what the heck? And it has an epi texture to it. It looks like a vintage box, right? I haven't, I feel like I've seen these boxes before, but never in person. I have no idea what could be in here. Do you guys know? Take a guess. Put it in the, put it in the box below. Let's open it up. Oh, paper. Okay, I'm not gonna look at that yet in case it spoils the surprise. <gasps> it's a pen. Another thing I've been wanting. You remember the other day? Okay, I kind of swore to myself, I didn't say this to you, but kind of swore to myself I wasn't gonna mention these again, but you remember when I was talking about the Stanley Cups the other day, and I was saying how a lot of people think those are expensive, but I have spent a heck of a lot more on other kinds of cups. I do the same thing with pens, so that's another thing that's really important to me that I'm willing to spend some serious dollars on. I have these two Lamy pens. Now, to me, Lamy pens are not expensive, but they're wonderful quality. I've been using those lately. I have Swarovski pens. Behind me, no, not behind, yeah, behind me. Forgot that I hadn't moved these. No, not behind me, hold on. Okay, I moved it to my cabinet back there. This is a pen holder, Louis Vuitton pen holder. It's called the Expert Pen Case. Very hard to find. I know every time I show this, I get comments from people. So you unzip it. They were in the men's line a few years ago. And then you undo the pocket or the, the flaps. And that's a really cheap pen. But these two, these two are expensive pens. Those are a couple hundred dollars. So point being, there are a few things I'm willing to spend money on and pens are one of them. And I think Ed knows this. Oh, that's weighty, like in a good way. He knew this would be a great choice for me. Now I've, I've seen these online. I've never held one. So is it a twist? How do you do this? Okay, I think I'm in the wrong end. Okay, I'm in the refill end. Oh my gosh. You won't be able to see that, but on the refill it says Louis Vuitton. And then it says fine. They even had their own refills. I didn't know that. I'm having trouble getting the cap off. Do you screw it off? Do you pull it off? Oh, here, wait. Oh, that's how I figured it out. It's retractable. So you spin this and the point of the pen comes out and then you spin it back the other way and it goes away again. That is wonderful. And y'all know I carry a Louis Vuitton PM agenda with me everywhere I go. I have this tiny little pilot pen in here now, but these tiny little pens were made specifically for these agendas. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, my pilot pen was silver, but the hardware on these agendas is gold and now I have the matching gold pen. I'm shocked and amazed. I'm blown away. Thank you, Ed, so much. These are wonderful and generous gifts. I love the pen. I'll use that just about every day. We should look at this little thing too. Louis Vuitton, there's the back of it. And then one side, one side the back is blank. And then this side has all this information. So there's a diagram of the pen, that's very cool. And then it has French and English, ballpoint pen, propelling pencil, how to replace the refill, everything you need to know. It's so cool that it's a full set too with the instructions and the box and everything. I don't think I've ever seen that before with these pens. I think I've only seen the pen sold individually. So that makes it even more special. How cool. 
Ed, where did you even find this? And I was about to wrap it up, and then I remembered, Cliffin, Paul has a gift. So let's go see what he got. Hey, Paul. Hey, girl. So I've been unboxing my Secret Santa gifts from YouTube, and my Secret Santa is Ed. You know Ed. Oh yeah, he's, he's funny. So I wanted to show you a couple things that I got. The first one is this book. Whoa. Portland, then and now, I'm gonna be reading this. I told them you would, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, Roxy. You She's may interested. Not see it for a while. <laughs> I know. Wow. I love I love historical books about you know the history of towns and states. I got another thing to show you. Uh -huh. There's that. Oregon bucket list adventure guide. Yeah. Oh my God. And these were gifts for you. Yes. I'm they're, surprised they weren't for me. They are for me. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Hello. Yeah. Okay. There's more. I'm not showing you everything, just the things I think you'll be most interested in. Okay. Like this. Don't touch it, it's mine. <laughs> That's torture. I know. And then there's one more thing. There's this. Oh. Read the card on it. Okay. The card says to Paul. Uh huh. From Ed. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, Ed, look at you. I don't know what to say, Ed, except thanks. Should I open it? Yes, go ahead and open it. <laughs> That's what we're all waiting on. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, this is the first Christmas gift I've opened yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, early Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's from Michael Kors. Oh. Oh, that's nice. It's actually from Ed, but it's my whole corn. <laughs> oh my God. What Are you it? kidding me? Oh my God. What? It's a watch with three different wristbands. Wow. If I'm, if I'm correct. Oh he, my Lord. He told me he was sending you something, but I figured it would just be I, a box of chocolates. I thought it'd be a box. <laughs> Art Oregon bucket list. Yeah. But wow. good Lord, Ed, come on. Yeah. What did I do to deserve this? It's beautiful. Look, three wristbands. This, uh, I guess it's a signature wristband. Yeah. And then a metallic, and nice. then a black wow. or leather. Oh my God! I don't know what to say. Wow, that's really pretty. Yeah. Ed, how did you know that I wear watches? I mean, I've got several. I'm, I'm a big fan of wrist watches. I he guess is. I'm old school. Yeah, that's true. Wow. I, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless, which I know. is rare. That's how I felt when I opened my <laughs> gifts from him because yeah. he gave me this stuff, but he also gave me a Marc Jacobs little handbag. Uh huh. And which you won't know that what that is, but I'll show you. No. And you'll know this. He gave me a Louis Vuitton. Pen. Tell you what, Ed, if you adopt me, I'll keep my room clean. Oh, Ed, I just, again, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. uh, except come here and visit us, all right? Yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're going to go do advent calendars now. Okay. Again, thank you, Ed, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And now it's advent calendar time. Let's start with the spices advent calendar. Day 23 is way back there. Five peppercorn mix. We like peppercorn. Check it out. Paul's peppermint bark, day 23. Seems like they would have put Santa in day 24. What were they thinking? Olivier and Co., day 23. Ooh, a nice balsamic vinegar this time. Wonderful. Now let's see if we can find the gingerbread people missing again once more from the Biltmore. The drawers are out, so let's follow their path. Maybe they've taken the tree across again. Have they fallen to their deaths? No, but that little guy's waiting for them to do so. Uh, all right, let's see. Are they on this nutcracker? Nope, don't see them there. Are they somewhere around the trees here? Nope, don't see them there. Are they perhaps... Oh. Okay, now we know what to do. Let's follow the rope. Follow the rope, follow the rope. Oh, there they are. Oh, it looks like they have found their people. 
hello animals hi roxy so they've found their people imprisoned in this little bag hmm wonder if they're going to try to help them escape not today who wants a cookie oh both of you i'm surprised Here's the other one. Good job, guys. Get rid of those pesky gingerbread people. And at the Biltmore, day 23. Let's push these back in. What could we have? Let's see. A new house. Oh, a peanut. Hello, Vincent. Could you be craning your neck for a reason? Oh, you're coming to get it? How very athletic of you. Get it? Good job. Kind of forceful there, gosh snatch it from my fingers good job vincent we'll see you tomorrow well i hope you enjoyed today's video but what i hope even more is that you will now go to my description box and check out ed's video and everybody else who participated in the secret santa this year i can't wait to see what everybody else got thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it hope to see you back here tomorrow for our last day of vlogmas day 24 and I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy Vlogmas.